It happens every day in workplaces throughout the world. Although the causes of fire vary from situation to situation, most fires share a common factor. They start out small. But if a fire is discovered soon enough, it can be extinguished before it gets out of control with a portable fire extinguisher. Portable fire extinguishers are a common sight in the workplace and are also standard equipment on fire engines and emergency vehicles. They're considered the first line of defense when a fire occurs. Yet to the untrained person, extinguishers may provide a false and potentially dangerous sense of security. Make no mistake, portable fire extinguishers are effective firefighting tools, but only if they're used properly and on the types of fires they've been designed for. Portable fire extinguishers come in a variety of sizes. Some weigh only two and a half pounds. Others can weigh several hundred pounds. Yet the effectiveness of an extinguisher isn't just determined by its size. It's also determined by the training and knowledge of the person using it. There are several types of portable fire extinguishers. Each is designed to fight a specific class of fire and may not be effective on other types of fires. So, proper selection and placement of extinguishers is important. Some fires may not be easy to extinguish. Fighting large fires or fires in complex situations may require the use of protective clothing or specialized firefighting techniques. Before you attempt to extinguish the fire, it's important for you to know what type of fire you're dealing with, how to operate the extinguisher and how to correctly put out the fire. Fire is a chemical chain reaction between fuel, heat, and oxygen. This relationship is known as the fire tetrahedron. If you interrupt the chemical chain reaction or take away any of the other three elements, you will put out the fire. This is what an extinguisher does. Fire can develop with any number of different fuels and extinguishers for one type of fuel aren't always effective on other fuels. Fire is divided into four classifications and extinguishers are available for each one. Class A fires involve wood, cloth, paper, rubber and plastics. Water is often used to cool the fuel and extinguish the fire. Class B fires involve flammable or combustible liquids, gases or grease. These fires require extinguishers like carbon dioxide, foam, dry chemical, or halon, which deprive the fire of oxygen or interfere with the chemical chain reaction. Class C fires involve energized electrical equipment that may present a shock hazard to someone attempting to extinguish the fire. Class D fires involve combustible metals such as magnesium or lithium. These fires require a dry powder which smothers the fire and doesn't react with the burning metal. Extinguishers suitable for these different fires are categorized in the same manner as the class of fire they work on. To help identify the proper extinguisher, two types of symbols have been developed. One set uses a letter and shape for each of the four classes of fire. The other set displays pictures which identify both the fires the extinguisher can be used on and the fires it cannot be used on. All extinguishers should use one or the other of these classification systems. While certain extinguishers, like these multi-purpose dry chemical extinguishers, can be used on A, B, and C fires, no extinguisher is effective on all four classes of fire. In fact, extinguishers designed for one class of fire may be extremely dangerous when used on another class. For example, a water extinguisher is not recommended for use on a class B or flammable liquid fire because it may spread the fire. Portable extinguishers use a variety of extinguishing agents. Water, foam, carbon dioxide, halogenated agents, dry chemical, and dry powder. Pressurized water extinguishers are commonly found in office areas and are very effective on small fires involving ordinary combustible materials. 